Welcome to Total Body Conditioning with Shane Staley. Grab some weights if you have them, a set of heavy, medium, and light, a mat, a towel, some water. Modify anything you need to in our warm up and our workout, which includes three circuits today, three exercises in every circuit, and we're going to repeat each circuit three times. So, magic number is three today. Grab what you have, set yourself up. Again, modify what you need to. This is always for you. And let's get going. Started. Open those feet wide. Give me some windmill arm circles forward. Just start to move. Loosen up. You can let your head move any way that feels good. Find your breath. In through your nose, out your mouth. Reverse, circle back. Again, easy in the neck and head. Nice, release your arms. Give me some easy twist right and left. Belly is drawing in, shoulders are soft. We're here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Open your feet wide, bring your hands to your hips. Let's bend that right knee, reach both hands to the floor. Come back up and then we'll switch sides. Left knee bends, reach both hands to the floor and back up, keep it going. Right and up, left and up. Six, five, four, three, two, one. I want you to take it back down to the right. Keep your left hand on the floor. As you stretch your right arm to the ceiling, start to stretch that right leg as straight as you feel comfortable. Finding an easy twist for five, four, three, two, one, re-bend your right knee, bring that right hand back to the floor, and then come all the way up to stand, hands to your hips. Same thing to the left, left knee bends, hands down. As you reach your left arm up, just start to stretch that left leg straight any amount. Easy twist for five, four, three, two, one. As you lower that left hand, re-bend your left knee. Come all the way back up, hands to your hips, toes out, heels in, just rock down into a squat. You can use your forearms or elbows to push your knees open. Good, let's take a little twist, drop that right shoulder down, twist left. And switch, drop that left shoulder down, twist right. Come back to center, turn those toes in, heels out, forward fold. Easy sway, side to side. Loosening up through your lower back, your hips, torso, shoulders, neck, head. And come back to center with your torso, bend your knees deeply. Stretch your legs. Let's take two more like that, deep bend. And stretch, one more bend, and stretch. Roll all the way up to stand. Cool, let's jog it out. Just start to move a little bigger. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, good jacks, arms side and front. One side, one front, warming up your shoulders. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Excellent, one more time, jog it out. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, side in front with those arms. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Excellent rest, toes forward, elbows in, squat and reach, give me a nice deep squat. As you come up, pull your belly and reach that right arm over, 
Other side, squat. Belly pulls in, left arm reaches. Good, no rush. Get a nice side stretch. Squat and stretch. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Take it down into a squat, stay low. Think of pressing your knees out a little bit as you pulse, pulse, pulse. We're here for 12, 11, good. Breathe, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, good. Fold over, let it go, take a breath. Swing to the right, slide your left leg back. Long lunge. Breathing here. Good, let's stretch both legs straight. Hop that back foot in a little and fold over your front thigh. Can you heavy your torso over that leg? Bring your belly closer to your thigh, head a little closer to your shin. We'll take it back into a lunge. Stepping to plank. We have eight push-ups. You can always hold plank or lower your knees to the floor. Three, two, one. Down, exhale and push. Down, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, one more. Step your left foot between your hands. Long lunge on the left. Finding space. And as we open up some of those tight spaces, that allows our breath to move a little more freely through our body. Stretch both legs straight, hop that back foot in a little. Fold over your front thigh. Heavy your torso, let your belly drop towards your thigh, head towards your shin. And then refine that lunge. Setting up for eight push-ups. Again, option to hold plank or use your knees to assist. Three, two, one, down, eight. Can you squeeze your tush a little bit here? Three, four, five, Six, seven, downward dog, push into your hands, lift your hips high, drop your head, take a couple pedals here in down dog. Get into your calves, your ankles, you can shake out your head. Walk your hands and your feet together. Last little stretch, soft knees in this forward fold. I want you to reach behind you, interlace your fingers, roll your shoulders open. Try and squeeze your hands together. Try and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Get wider across your collarbones. And then just take an easy yes and no shake with your head. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Let your arms release. Soften your knees, roll all the way up to stand. Shake it out, towel off, grab water, take whatever you need. We are going in three circuits, three exercises in each circuit, every circuit three times through. Now that means our rep count is gonna be a little bit shorter today. We are gonna start with a clean squat press burpee. Check this out, we're gonna stay on the right side. We're just gonna do five of these. I'll show you what this looks like. Now. You're going from the ground to your shoulder using the power of your legs. So from the ground all the way down to your shoulder, you're using your legs to bring it there. You're using your legs to shoot that arm to the ceiling. From there, you're gonna set that weight down. You can either jump or step to plank. 
and then jump or step back in. And then we'll repeat to the shoulder, squat and press, set it down, plank and back in. We're doing five of these all on the right side. Five, bring that weight all the way to the floor. Four, on the right side of your body. Three, two, here we go. Squat, bring that weight to your shoulder. Keep it there, squat and press. Now set that weight down with control. Plank position, you can jump or step. Jump those feet back in or step. Grab that weight again to your shoulder. Squat and press. Set it down. Plank, reset. Third round to your shoulder. Squat and press. Set it down. Plank, reset. This is four. Use those exhales. Last round right here to your shoulder. Squat and press. Finish out with that plank. You can leave your weight there. Stand up and breathe. Woo, nice work. We're gonna take that on the left. Five times on the left. Weight is all the way on the ground. Can shift it towards the left foot a little bit. Five. Four, three, use those legs. Two, use those abs. One, here we go, bring it to your shoulder. Keep it there, squat and press. Set it down with control. Plank position, reset. Again, to your shoulder. Squat and press. Set it down. Two, to your shoulder. Squat and press. Set it down, three, two more rounds. Up, oh. big exhale to press, looking good. We're starting off big right here. Last round. Finish that plank, leave your weight there and rest. Nice job. Towel off, grab water, take what you need. All right, I'll show you what we get. This is our last exercise in our first circuit. Two rows, and then we're gonna stand up and march for four counts. Hitting our core, hitting our back. We're gonna bend over with a long spine, as if you had a broomstick from your tail to head. We're gonna take two rows, lifting those elbows. From there, you're standing all the way up, squeeze your tush, we're gonna march. Right, left is one, right, left is two. We have four marches and then we'll reset. We'll bend those knees, two rows, stand up, squeeze your butt. Four marches, we're gonna do that four times. Grab some weights, base it off of your rows, medium or heavy maybe. Five, let's grab them. Four, three, knees are bent, spine is long. Two, let's hit it, two rows, elbows up. Now stand up, squeeze your tush, march, right, left, that's one, right, left, that's two, get those knees up, right, left, last, set, reset for those rows, knees bend, two times, exhale, exhale, stand up, march, four, three, two, this is good for your back, for your core, one, Reset, third round of four. Two rows. Stand up and march. Four, whatever foot is on the floor, push down into that foot. Two, get that knee up. Last time, one. Last set, knees bend, elbows up. Two rows. Stand up and march. Four, three, two, and rest, set down those weights. That's our first circuit, you guys, towel off, grab water. We're gonna run through all of that two more times. If you wanna go heavier with your weight, go for it. If you need to lighten up, go for it. Make those adjustments, and we'll start with that clean 
squat press, set it down, shoot to plank, jump back in five times on the right. Grab that weight, five, four, let's smooth it out a little bit this round, three, from the ground to the shoulder, two, here we go. Shoulder, keep it there, squat and press. Set it down, find your plank, reset. Again, shoulder, squat and press. Set it down, plank, reset. Three, good. Four. All the way to five. Finish it out, last round. You're gonna end with that plank, keep your weight on the floor. Stand up and breathe when you're done. Beautiful. Cool, we're gonna switch to that left side. Nice work. Five, four, three, two. Here we go, from the floor to the shoulder. Squat and press, set it down, plank, reset, round two. There's a lot happening with our abdominals here. Keep a little awareness there. Trying to use those legs. Every time you lift that weight from the floor to the shoulder, use your legs from the squat to the press. Use your legs. We have one more set. If you're moving faster or slower than me, that's fine. Just make sure you get to five and then rest. Awesome. Cool. Woo. We're gonna grab those weights for rows. You decide, heavier, lighter, same weight. We'll stand up. Now when you stand up and squeeze your tush, See if you can keep that squeeze in your tush in whatever leg is still on the ground. So your tush is still squeezing. You're using your abs to lift that knee. You're pushing down into that leg. Let's grab our weights. Four sets, two rows, four marches in five, four, knees are bent, spine long, three, really pick those elbows up, two, here we go. Two rows. Stand up, squeeze your tush. Now try and keep squeezing your tush. Whatever leg's on the floor, you're still squeezing that tush. Last two. Last one. Good, reset back to rows. Two rows. Stand up, squeeze your tush. We march. Four. There we go. Three. Two, one, two more rounds, reset, two rows. Stand up, squeeze your tush, four, three, two, one. Last set, knees bent, long spine, elbows up. Nice, stand up, squeeze, four, Three, two, one, rest. So nice, we have one more round. Towel off, grab water. Same rules apply if you need to adjust that weight, do so. It's in your body. Last round, really smooth. Let's get her done. Right hand to the shoulder, squat and press, and then into plank five times. Five, four, three, two, here we go, to that shoulder, squat and press. Find your plank any way you need to. Reset, one, again. Beautiful, two, Three, four, 
four last time. Keep that weight there. Finish your plank and then come up and breathe. No rush. Get all the way to five. Nice. We have that left side coming up. Last set of these. Five times. Five. Four, three, two, here we go. To your shoulder, use those legs. Squat and press. Use that exhale, plank, reset. Good. That's three. Two more rounds. Last time. And rest when you get to five. All the way to five. You got it, you got it. Nice work. Towel off, grab water. We're going to finish out this first circuit. Two rows, four marches, four times. Five. Let's get it. Four. Long spine. Three. Two. Here we go. Two rows. Stand up. Squeeze your tush. Keep squeezing. Four. Three. Two, one, reset for those rows. Two rows. Good. Up and squeeze. Four, three. I'm really lengthening through my back body. Two, the back of my neck is long. One, my tailbone is lengthening down. Third set. Stand up and squeeze. Four. Belly is drawing in, three, two, shoulders soft, awesome. Last set, bend those knees, two rows. Up and squeeze, four, three, two, one, and rest. That was amazing. Take a longer rest right here. Let circuit one go. Done with that. Water, tell off, breathe. Resetting, refreshing for some new things. So we're gonna start the same. Our first two exercises are our right side and then our left side. Just like we did in that first circuit. Here's what we got. We're gonna do this four times, just four times. Rep count is low. We're repeating everything three times. Heaviest weights in your hand. You can decide if you want to go lighter. We have a side lunge. We're going to hit a little bit of everything. You'll close your feet, reverse lunge, same leg. You'll close your feet, curtsy squat. Boom, so we're going it. Three things, and then we start again. Side lunge, close, same leg. Reverse lunge, same leg. Curtsy, and then we reset. Again, we're just doing four of these. Grab some weights, make sure you have space <coughs> to the side of you and to the back of you. Five, we'll start with that right leg stepping out. Four, shoulders soft. Three, two, here we go. Side lunge to close. Reverse lunge to close, right leg doing all the work. And then curtsy squat to close. I should say doing all the moving. That left leg is working too. Reverse lunge, curtsy. Good, we just have two more rounds. Short and sweet, lunge, lunge, curtsy. Last set, lunge, lunge. You can set those weights down. Just take a breath, that was great. Short and sweet, four reps on the left, 
Same thing side. Now it's your left leg doing all the moving. And as I corrected myself, that right leg is working too. Five, four, let's grab those weights. Three, two, left leg lunges side. One, side lunge, left leg lunges back. Reverse, left leg curtsies. One, three more. Side, reverse. Two, lots of abdominals. Those weights are pulling you to the floor. Your abs have to resist that pull and keep your chest up. Last set right here. That's it. Weights down, rest. Nice. All right. I want you to towel off. We have a little ax chop, halo circle, getting our shoulders, our back, our biceps, our abs. Check this out. I'm gonna use a kettlebell just cause my weights are big and awkward, but I want you to grab one dumbbell. One dumbbell, I'll show you what we got, light-ish, maybe medium. Now, you're gonna cradle that weight. So if you have a dumbbell, you're grabbing the ends at your chest. We're gonna start pivoted to the right. We're gonna ax chop up and over like you're chopping an ax. You're gonna put the brakes on and then come back up and over, put the brakes on. So my weight is about belly button height when I'm stopping. Ooh, then you gotta use those abs, shoulders, back, biceps to bring it back over. Medium-ish weight, maybe lighter, maybe heavier. We have three rounds. Let's see how this first round feels. Chest, pivot, three, two, here we go, lower that weight, belly button height. Bring it up and over, put the brakes on, stop it at your belly button. Up and over, stop it at your belly button. Again. Breathe. This is four, we're going to 10. Five, see how this weight feels. Six, No. whether or not you can do more or less next time. Two more, last one, up and over, and rest. Nice job. That is it, take a second and breathe. We're gonna go back to those side lunges. Second round, trying to smooth it out a little bit. Right leg, side, back, and curtsy four times. Let's hit it, five, four, three, Two, one, side lunge, reverse lunge, curtsy. Really clean, really intentional. We're not just trying to fly through it. We're acknowledging the work. We're appreciating the work. One more round. Weights down, rest. Short little break and we'll take that left side. You guys are looking good. Five, breathe. Four, three, let's get ready. Two, left leg. One, side lunge. Reverse lunge. Now keep your hips forward on this curtsy squat. Don't that, let that left hip spin. Side lunge. Reverse lunge. So left hip stays forward as you tuck that left leg. Good. One more set. You got it, finish with that curtsy. Weights down, rest, nice. A towel off, especially those hands so they're not slippery. We have our ax chops up and over. You pick that weight, 
you know what that felt like, challenging those abs, shoulders, biceps. If you need to go heavier, do it. Five, we have 10 of these, four, three, two, hands at your chest, pivot to the right, lower belly button height. Ooh, up and over, put the brakes on. Belly button height, two, good. Three, when your hands come belly button height, four, I want you to imagine someone punched you in the stomach. Pull your belly in that much. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Rest. Nice. All righty. Short rest, we're gonna do that one more time. We are moving through it. Side lunge, reverse lunge, curtsy on the right. You pick that weight. Breathe. I'll give you five. Last time through. Four. Three, four rounds. Two, one. Side lunge. Reverse lunge. Curtsy squat. That's one. Side lunge. Reverse lunge. Curtsy, beautiful. Two. So on this side, when you take that curtsy squat, try not to let that right hip twist back. Right here, keep that right hip facing straight forward. Three, last set. On that curtsy, keep that right hip forward. Set down your weights and rest. So on that curtsy squat, if we twist, if we let that right hip turn, we're twerking that front knee and really that's putting us more in a lunge position and we're missing out on the goodness of that curtsy position. So on this side, when you curtsy, try not to let that left hip pull back gonna put a lot of pressure on that front knee and you're also missing out on all that goodness let's grab those weights three left leg steps out two last set one side lunge reverse lunge now right here left hip stays forward you're just tucking beautiful that was it just takes a little awareness of the body Yes, two more rounds, just like that. Last set. Breathe, curtsy. Done with those, set down those weights. Axe chops, finishing out our second circuit. Pick your weight, challenge yourself. If that last round was easy, go heavier. If you were struggling with control in that last round, go lighter, you'll get more out of it. Five, hands at your chest. Four, three, pivot to the right. Two, one, belly button height. Up and over, put on the brakes. Up and over, that's two. Three, four, going to 10, five, six, good, seven, eight, nine, that's it, rest. Nice job. Circuit two is done. Woo, two thirds of the way through. Towel off, grab water, take a little longer rest. Last little bit of work. We're gonna grab one dumbbell, just cause it's a little more comfortable. So go heavy, don't be afraid. 
We're taking a bicep curl. If you usually curl 10 in each hand, maybe grab a 20 pounder. Yeah, so don't be afraid to go heavy on this. We're gonna turn those toes out, heels in, cradling one weight, chest stays lifted. Again, that weight wants to pull you down by keeping your chest up. You're working your abdominals. When we come up, we're gonna take a curl. That's where a curl happens. We'll extend and lower. We'll come up and curl. We're gonna do 10 of these, 10 of these. Grab that weight, five, four, three, toes out, heels in, two. Here we go, chest stays lifted, plie, come up and curl. Again. Yeah, don't be afraid to go heavy. Both hands are involved. Good, use that breath. Exhale, we have five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. Nice. Set down that weight. Lateral power push. One of our only power pushes today. We have 30 seconds of skater hops. You're gonna try and push laterally, side to side. If you're on a mat, maybe try and go the whole length of your mat. Pushing for 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Belly is in. Working to move side to side. Awesome. So good for those hips, your sacrum, your core, your back, your ankles, your knees, everything. Keeping our body healthy. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, rest. Awesome while you breathe. Just watch side to side push ups. Hands and feet start together. We open right, we push up, come back in. We open left, we push up. You're coming back to center every time. We have eight of these. If you're taking your push ups on your knees, you're gonna do the same thing. Just don't move your legs. You just open your arms, come back to center, open your arms. Otherwise, you're moving everything. Foot and hand, back to center, foot and hand, back to center. Come on down. Let's take eight. Hands and feet together. Three, we'll open to the right. Two, one, open right. Give me a push up. Come back to center. Open left, take a push up and close. Keep it going. Three, four more. Open right, open left. Open right. One more to the left, last one. Rest. That is it, you guys, that's our third circuit. Woo, towel off, grab water, breathe. Run through that in your brain. If you need to make any adjustments, we will do that this second round. Plie squat to bicep curl. I'm switching to a kettlebell again, just because these weights are fantastic, but they're just long and awkward, so. Grab what you need, grab what you got. Five, plie squat, bicep curl. Four, 10 times. Three, toes out, heels in. Two, here we go. Plie, 10. Nine, good. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, one more. Beautiful, set it down. Skater hops, 30 seconds on the clock. Trying to smooth everything out, five, Four, three, 
two. Here we go. Pushing laterally. Use your breath. Nice. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, rest. Woo! Catch your breath. We're coming down for those push ups eight times, right and left. Five, hands and feet start together. Four, we'll open to the right first. Three, lots of abdominals. Two, here we go, open right. Give me a push up, come back to center. Open left, push up, open right. That's three, open left, four, five, six, one more to the left, finish it out, rest, Woo. we are so close, towel off, grab water if you need it, one more time through, Plie squat bicep curl. This is it. This is it. You might be tired. You might be a little stressed. Hey, that's good. That's when your body starts to change. When you go a little into that discomfort, let's take that plie squat curl. Taking your body to new places. Five. We're going for 10 of these. Four. Let's finish strong. Three. Two. One, plie squat, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, one more. Fantastic. Set that weight down. We're going right into those skater hops. Let me see that side to side push. Five, 30 seconds, four, three, two. Here we go. Woo. Oh yeah. Now here, a little challenge. I want you to imagine the floor is hot. So as soon as you land, whoo, you're trying to get off the floor as soon as you can. Push to that other side, 10, nine, don't burn your feet, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, yes. Woo, come on down. This is it, push-ups. Right and left for eight. Hands and feet together. Five, use your breath. Four, use your abs. Three, two, let's open to the right. Push up, come back to center. Left side, keep it going. Right, that's three, left. That's four, four more, and then you are done. Four, three, two. Let's take child's pose. Child's pose. Big full breaths, long arms. Push into your hands, try and send your sit bones to your heels. Starting to transition from work mode to cool down mode. So let your muscles know that. Soften your muscles, soften your mind.
I want you to lift your head a little bit, thread your left arm underneath your right, and then push back to child's pose. Your left shoulder is towards the floor. The left side of your head is on the floor. You might be able to walk those right fingers a little further forward, but keep your hips pushing back to your heels. Breathe. Good, let's change sides, come back to center. We'll thread that right arm under, and then push those hips back. Right shoulders towards the floor, right side of the head is on the floor. You might be able to crawl your left fingers a little further forward. Good, come back to center. Both hands out in front of you. Pull into a modified up dog. Let your hip bones roll towards your wrists. Now from here, I want you to pull your heart through your arms, push into your hands, move your shoulders down away from your ears. So your neck is long. You might even move your neck around a little. Make sure it's nice and easy. Take a big breath in. Exhale, press back, child's pose. We'll do that one more time. Roll forward, bring your hips towards your wrist, pull your heart through your arms, and then push down into your hands to move your shoulders away from your ears. This time let's push to all fours and step your right foot between your hands. Lunge it out, right hand to right thigh. Let's twist and look over that right shoulder. And come back to center. Keep that right hand on your right thigh. I want you to lift your chest and fold your left elbow in. So left elbow is folded in. You're gonna push into your right leg. Stretch your left arm up and over to the right. Good, trying to get into that left hip flexor. Make sure that left knee is grounded. Breathe. Beautiful, gently release and we'll swap out our legs. Right leg back, left foot forward, left hand to left thigh, right hand is on the floor to start. And we'll just take a twist and look over that left shoulder. Come back to center, keep your left hand on your left thigh, lift your chest, fold that right elbow in. Push your left hand into your left leg. You can kind of use that as support as you stretch your right arm up and over to the left. Stay anchored through that right knee. Breathe. Relax your shoulders. Nice, come back to center. From here, step your back foot forward, forward fold. Relax your head and your shoulders. We'll roll up super slowly, one vertebra at a time. And once you arrive, two big breaths. Inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale, let it go. Nice, one more time. Inhale, reach those arms up. This time, press your palms. Exhale, take that energy with you. Fabulous job, you guys. Keeping yourself healthy and strong. I love it. 